Hello, I'm Perry West, president and founder of Automated Vision Systems. We all know that machine vision relies on cameras. Naturally then, anyone working with machine vision needs to have, at a minimum, a general knowledge of cameras and how they work. This sequence of 13 brief videos gives you that knowledge. Let's have a quick look at the basic parts of a camera. This forms the outline for the videos that follow. Follow me down here. Here we are at the front of the camera. Behind me is the image sensor. The image sensor is the most important part of the camera. It determines most of the characteristics of the camera. Among these are the image resolution, the number of rows and columns of pixels, the sensitivity of the camera, and the noise in the image. Because the image sensor is so important, the videos that follow this one start by exploring the image sensor. Oh, and I'm standing on the lens mount. The lens mount determines what lenses can be used with the camera. We'll go over lens mounts in a later video. Let's now move to the back of the camera. This is where the camera interfaces with the processor. There are several different standards for transmitting image data. The standards differ in how fast they can transmit the data, how long the interface cable can be, and the reliability of the data transmission. Later videos in this series cover the most common machine vision interface standards in use. Between the image sensor and the interface, the camera has electronic circuits. The circuitry converts the signals from the image sensor to be compatible with the interface. It also controls the timing of the image sensor and determines many of the extra features of the camera, such as gain and region of interest. A later video covers some of the more common features that can be useful to you. That's enough introduction. You know the principal parts of a camera. In the next video, you learn more about how image sensors sense light.